Aloha Friday! It's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji and I'm here doing your Feng Shui Friday quick tip for you. And continuing on the theme that we've had this month in the month of November is about the four basic steps to Feng Shui. And today we are on step four. And step four in the Feng Shui journey is making adjustments. And I want to just talk to you a little bit about what an adjustment is. And this is a term that we use in feng shui. It also, you may have also heard them referred to as cures. Uh, so a cure, a, an adjustment, those are typically terms that we use in feng shui to describe something that we are doing to shift the energy in the space. So an adjustment is something that you are doing with intention. So it may be placing a mirror it may be moving a piece of furniture. It may be um, sprinkling bread, you know, um, bird seed. That can be an adjustment or a, a cure that we do. And it's something very specific that you are doing to shift the energy around something within your life. Okay? So, and you're going to be hearing me talk now coming up in the next videos each week about specific cures and specific feng shui adjustments that you can do. One of the things that we talk about with feng shui is about setting intentions. And I want to also share the three secrets of reinforcement with you today. The three secrets of reinforcement are a way to boost the energy around the adjustments that you make. And so I think it's important for you to know about these three secrets as I begin to share adjustments with you. The first secret of the adjustment is the body, the physical thing that you do. So this would be the placement of an object, moving something or removing something. It can be a um, something that you're doing physically with something like with the bird seed where you're sprinkling bird seed that would be the physical thing that you're doing so the body is number one number two is the mind and that is thinking about and focusing on your intention so feng shui isn't just like moving your stuff it's what is the point why are you doing it and that is your intention. What is it that you want to shift in your life? What is it that you want to draw into your life? And so that mind piece of things is focusing on and thinking about what it is that you're wanting to draw in. Okay? So that's the second secret. The third secret is the six true words. And I like to say you can use these words, you can use other words that resonate with you, you can use prayers, anything like that. But the words are important because again, it brings that energy, a boost of energy to the adjustment that you're making. The six true words in Feng Shui are Omani Padme Hom. And you may have heard these in other um, mantras or mudras, that type of thing. Uh, you may have heard them used. It's Om Ma Ni Padme Hom. And we sort of run them all together. Om Ma Ni Padme Hom. Om Ma Ni Padme Hom. And we state that nine times. And again, nine is a, about reaching new heights. It's a very, very lucky number. And so we state that nine times. Om Ma Ni Padme Hom. Om Ma Ni Padme Hom. What does Omani Padme Hom mean? It means, it's literally trans, loosely translated as the lotus flower opening up to reveal the jewel inside. So I like to say, like to think about that in a beautiful way, like you are opening up to the jewels that you're wanting to attract in your life, the things that you're wanting to uncover, the jewels that are already there, right? So opening up to that. So what you would do is you would place the object you would then visualize your intention, what it is that you want. You can even write that out if you wish. And then you would state Omani Padme Home nine times at the space or location where you made the adjustment. So that is the three secrets of reinforcement. And that's a little bit more information about adjustments and cures that we use in Feng Shui and the purpose of them. So stay tuned for the next video next week where we'll dive in a little bit deeper and give you another quick Feng Shui Friday tip. For now, relax, have fun, and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Much love to you. If you are interested in having me take a look at your home, I have an amazing deal that I'm offering through the end of November. I have, I can honestly say I've never ever offered this deal before. I was, it was guided, I was guided to do this. So normally I have a focused feng shui consult 
which is a, a really good, um, it's not my top console, but it is a really great console to be able to get a lot of wonderful information about your home and the things to do to shift it. Uh, you get your Bagua, right? I'll create your accurate Bagua for you. You will also talk about like door issues and uh, Oh, there's a number of different things, stairways, bathrooms, stoves, all kinds of different things that we'll talk about. And then whatever you're having an issue with, we will focus on that. And I will give you some specific solutions for that particular issue that you're having to be able to help solve that. So normally those consults are $675. This month only, through the end of November, I'm offering them for $477 okay and you can break that up into payments and the beautiful thing is as long as you book by November 30th you can push the appointment out even into the new year you just have to schedule the appointment okay so uh, go ahead and schedule there'll be a link below for that you can go ahead and schedule and you can pay half up front and then pay half when we have the appointment so that is just a beautiful offering that I'm being guided to give you this month. And if you know anyone else that's interested in that, you are welcome to share that. I am going to be blasting it out onto social media and different things like that and with my daily videos as well. So for now, relax, have fun, and enjoy the month of November. Much love to you.